Welcome to our YouTube channel here at Saving Grace Lutheran Church in Coast Guard City, Mobile, Alabama, out on Snow Road. We are in our seventh episode in our series of hurricane preparedness, and as usual, we have leading us in our preparation, Commander Bob Kaler, uh, U.S. Coast Guard, retired. Thank you, sir. We're about a month into our hurricane season, and our chances of storms will increase continue to increase for another couple of months. The peak of our hurricane season will be in September. On our previous videos, you've seen just about everything you would have seen if you'd been with us here in person when we did our hurricane preparation event. Today, I've got uh, another tip for you, and then we'll review some of the important points from the previous videos. That sounds great. Uh, don't forget, we'll be looking at uh, Baldwin and Mobile County, where we are closest to, but really everything that we cover today is going to be applicable to anybody in hurricane country. That's right, and uh, please keep continuing to provide us feedback. It helps us uh, with our video production, and it's also just encouraging. All right, thanks a lot, Commander Bob. Uh, let's get started. Let's start with an item we haven't talked about yet. If you lost everything in your home, could you list all your belongings? I'll bet that many of us cannot, but that's what the insurance company is going to expect. There are several different techniques you can use to build your home inventory. Good advice is just to pick one and get to work on it. Go to the Hurricane folder under the Resources tab on the SavingGraceMobile.org uh, webpage to find a brochure on how to go about it. Now let's review some important points from earlier videos. Keep bottled water and non-perishable foods on hand. We could have extensive interruptions of utilities any day of the year, so you don't need to wait for hurricane season to stock up. Especially do not wait for a storm to approach. Be ready before the lines get long and the store shelves are stripped of all their stock. Consider evacuating. All counties have their own plans, so find out what county and evacuation zone your residence is in, so you'll know when they're talking to you. You can wait to assess each storm's threat before deciding to evacuate, but you should figure out now how you'll decide to evacuate or not. When evacuating, do not go elsewhere along the coast. Go inland. When evacuating, go early. Don't set yourself up to ride out the storm while stuck in traffic. Prepare your home. You should already have a mental or perhaps even a written list of what you'll do to prepare your residence. If you'll board up windows and or doors, or you'll need to tie down things in your yard, get the materials on hand now. Be ready before the lines get long and the store shelves are stripped of all their stock. Communicate. Have a battery-powered radio to make sure you can get weather watches and warnings as well as evacuation orders. Keep your cell phone charged and then conserve its battery when the power goes off. In advance, tell family, near or far, what your sheltering or evacuation plans are. Also tell Pastor Spiegelberg or the Saving Grace elders. Check in with all those people again after the storm has passed. Don't go sightseeing. If there is a lull between feeder bands or if the eye of the storm crosses your location, stay in your safe spot. The weather will turn bad again, and that can happen suddenly, dramatically, without warning. Don't be in a rush to go out after the storm has passed either. Give first responders and utility crews a chance to get where they need to go without you being in their way. Be very wary of electricity. Stay well clear of down power lines and watch out for electrical hazards caused by any structural damage to your home. If you use a portable generator, follow the instructions explicitly. Using it in any manner other than it's intended is very dangerous. Guard against carbon monoxide poisoning. If you use a portable generator, make sure it is outdoors and well away from open doors or windows. The exact same caution applies to cooking on a barbecue grill or hibachi. 
outdoors and well away from open doors and windows. Thanks for your attention to this video and the previous ones. If you have any comments or questions on this presentation or for the whole series of presentations, you can send them to SavingGraceXO at gmail.com. Once again, thank you for joining us today, and thank you to Commander Bob for putting on the presentation uh, today as we took a look at hurricane preparedness once again. Uh, don't forget to like the video, also subscribe to our Saving Grace Lutheran YouTube channel, and check out our website, savinggracemobile.org, not .net, but .org, and you'll find all of our hurricane resources located there. Thanks for watching today.